Okay, so there's been some rumors going around, talk, you know, about Randy Orton, and about them possibly releasing Randy Orton. But, like, would they actually release Randy Orton? I mean, okay, now Randy Orton, he does have history of failing drug tests, I believe, you know, having a bad attitude backstage, like any other wrestler. I mean, if you remember a while ago, Randy Orton was having, like, feuds with, like, Alberto Del Rio and not really being pushed to the main event until he cashed in his money in the bank on Randy Orton at SummerSlam and went on to the main event of WrestleMania 30 where Daniel Bryan defeated him and after that his career kind of went downhill like with Randy Orton it's always back and forth with his career like he'll be champion one day and then he'll lose it the next day or he'll be in some random feud with somebody like Randy Orton like um there are some matches I'd want to see him compete in. I'd like to see Randy Orton versus Brock Lesnar, or... I'm surprised it hadn't been Randy Orton versus John Cena at WrestleMania yet, as a main event. I thought it was going to happen at WrestleMania 24, but they had the triple threat match because Triple H wanted to be a part of it. But as far as Randy Orton goes, with all his success in the WWE, I think he's like a 13 or 14 time champion. He's been the youngest world heavyweight champion. He, um... At time, his very first title win, though, he wasn't really ready, you know. I, I remember watching back when he won the Intercontinental Championship against RVD at Armageddon in 2000 and 2003, I believe. And he had a rivalry with Mick Foley, which led on to him competing against Edge for the Intercontinental Championship. Then going on to SummerSlam, where he defeated Crispin Wall, although it's not in the record books anymore. Because they read Crispin Wall apparently never existed. But, um... As far as Randy Orton goes, I don't think they would actually fire him or release him. I mean, he's a big, big star. It's like, maybe Randy Orton's not on the same boat as John Cena anymore. Like, you know, he used to be like the top phase of the company plenty of times. But with Randy Orton, it's like, even though he's been, in, he's been, he's been injured, I mean, give the guy a break. I don't even remember the last time I really saw him. I think it was... When he was feuding with Seth Rollins after WrestleMania 31, they had like a cage match and Seth Rollins defeated him. That was the last time I remember seeing Randy Orton, you know, and, and that was about a year ago or so. <laughs> and I hadn't seen him since. I didn't even know what happened to him. Some people were saying that, you know, with Randy Orton being gone, they, they don't even notice he's gone. They don't even really care for him. They feel they don't really need him. I mean, I'm indifferent about Randy Orton. I always thought he was kind of boring, you know, sometimes I thought he could have good, I thought he'd be better for putting people over, not putting people down, like, I mean, he he tried helping Dolph Ziggler out, and the Miz cashed him money in the bank on him once the Nexus attacked him, so he tried pushing some people, I don't think Randy Orton has a huge ego, a lot of divas in the back say he's kind of a jerk, you know, Randy Orton though, he, um, I don't hear, I hear kind of mixed feelings about him, you know, it's like, do people, do we do, does the WWE really need him anymore? You think releasing him would be too extreme? Maybe they can make him the Intercontinental Champion and give him prestige to that, or the, or the United States Champion like they did John Cena, you know. John Cena made the United States Championship interesting. Randy Orton could make the Intercontinental Championship interesting. Like, they could use him for different reasons. I mean, more people are probably looking forward to a Seth Rollins return than a Randy Orton return, but the main question is, you think they would actually release or fire him? I don't think they would actually fire Randy Orton or release him, even though they say they might do it. But, like, you know, I guess we never know. Because as far as Randy Orton goes, I don't see him getting fired, but I don't see his career skyrocketing like it did back in the day, you know? I think his time is up, he's accomplished enough, he's proved himself enough, but what else is there for him? He's been the Intercontinental Champion, Intercontinental Champion, he's been the World Heavyweight Champion, and the WWE Champion. He's never been a United States Champion, I don't think. I don't think he's been a Tag Champion either, from what I can remember. So there's still some things he can still accomplish. He's won the World Rumble already. Um, you know, he's done a lot. <laughs> that I can, those, are, those are things I can think of. But as far as firing Randy Orton, I don't think they'd fire him. But I don't think they'd do much with him, honestly. But that's just my personal opinion. But give me your thoughts. Do you think they would fire Randy Orton? Do you think they would, would you know, not include him anymore? Just make him vanish off the profile? What do you think would happen to him? Give me your thoughts. Have a nice day. Subscribe if you want to. Jackson Parker saying Randy Orton's the man, somewhat, but don't know if they actually get rid of him.
That's all I want to say. Have a nice day. Bye.